Okay, I'm here now, I'm here now. Okay, sorry, I'm like a little bit, I was a little bit preoccupied. I was like, I, I, did, I was doing my Nikkei and got preoccupied just playing more Nikkei and I was like, wait a moment, wait a moment, I actually need to do my laundry. Uh, so I, I was trying to do my laundry really fast and I realized that my laundry was taking, I, 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 it was pretty late already. So Yeah, that's that. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little drained right now, more than a little drained right now, so, uh, yeah, very, very tired. Very tired. Hopefully all of you are doing fine today. It's a nice happy Saturday, hopefully. Just a
Okay, help, help, someone send help. Quest go. Do I guess? Three musketeers? I'm probably sure I guess three musketeers. I can't remember which Mari is this. Drown with Kugula. Do, do, do. Sin? Yeah, Sin. Darn it. I don't know that sample. What was wrong with me? Like, when soon the song actually, like, started, like, past the intro, I knew exactly what it was, but I couldn't do it from there. Oh, I feel so bad. I should learn, I should learn Sin start sample. Too hard.
That's not happening. Audition G3D is not happening. I'm sorry, Nisoft. Oh, I like, I need the chorus, I need the chorus. I don't know this song that well, honestly. I feel bad, I feel really bad I don't know this song that well.
Okay, new socks. Okay, new socks. Not happening, not happening, he's hot. Oh, 
spirit. Is it Tommy Chan? No, is it? Oh, it's uh, spirit to Tommy Chan. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, phew! Okay, I actually sort of got this, sort of. Hello, Dart. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hi, Dean. How are you doing today? Sorry, I'm responding slowly. I am all sluggish. I, I, I'm like, I'm, I, I'm out of it. Okay, like today, I, I'm like sort of out of it. I will uh, try to get back on things uh, soon. Hopefully soon. Like my, my, I, I am, I'm going crazy. Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you, uh, hopefully you joined the union or something so far uh, in UK. Um, union raid is coming up this Thursday. I wish you the best of luck in it. Um, but yeah, it's probably good to just go get get some like the material from it. So just join a random union if you can and be happy. I don't expect good results, but you can know, get free material. Might as well get free material. Okay, you guys are lane friends. Cool, 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 cool. Sounds good, sounds good. But yeah, you might as well get free material while you're at it. Just go get, grab, grab some free stuff and be happy. You didn't do great last time. I mean, it's fine. I mean, we don't. I don't think anyone expects much from me right now. Okay, you're, you're still very, very, very early game. But yeah, like off stream, I've been uh, pushing tower. I went up like 64 on tower. I feel so dumb for marathoning it like that. But I finally caught up to pretty much where I can, far as far as I can go. So pretty happy about that. Man, I, I felt I was probably so lazy with tower. Yeah, I didn't know I I don't know my V that well, I'm sorry. Like I don't even recognize V. I'll be honest here. Like I don't know this song at all. My Hime or something like that? I forgot. Change your team temporary to B1 RH and you're blitzing through the rest of Chapter 21. Very, very nice. Chapter 21 has a very hard stage, like three stages before the boss. Revolution Growing Town. I know I know when freedom comes up, but like in you know in 5D, but like I don't know the song that well, which is the problem.
but yeah, so yeah, sorry I'm like so out of it right now. I'm like, so the plan right now is that we'll, uh, after I turn on Mary Sculpture, I'm probably gonna take a quick break so I can go do my laundry. Probably. Yep. Yeah, I wish you the best of luck. If you know the techniques, maybe Mother Whale is doable for you. Like, you sound relative. Like, you sound like you should be able to beat Mother Whale. Should. It mostly comes down to technique. Um. <laughs> Dragons and Drive? Oh, yikes. Oh, uh, I can't say much about that one. Yeah, I don't know what you in particular would do, but you don't have a dual cycle though, knee socks. I mean, here's the thing about Asuka, right? Asuka is, as I was telling everyone, Asuka is 1.3 times what Scarlet can do. And she didn't need much in her kit to be, like, work. So, like, yes, Asuka is strong. This doesn't sound like... Is this Kogula? Why are you? What are you talking about? This does not sound like Caligula. So like, oh Tom, welcome to the stream. Hi, Dean. How are you doing today? It doesn't sound like it to me. Then again, I like memorized most of the of the Caligula song, so that's the way I learned them anyway. Ah, home hero. Yep, you're absolutely right, Dark. Absolutely right. But yeah, so Asuka is 1.3 times as strong as Scarlet, okay? And she needs fewer resources even for it to even work. So, like, Asuka is very newbie friendly. The problem is, is that the her ceiling is quite quite a bit lower than a lot of her competition. So like, Quincy does more damage than her by like, I think like 1.2, 1.3x at, at high investment. And like, Modernia, which who would be normally her direct comparison, also does 1.3 times what she does. Give or take, like 1.2 to 1.3. And like, Modernia just has more, way more usage. And then Alice just destroys like, destroys uh, Asuka out of the water. Teruka the drawing to Faust. Ah, yeah, that one. I feel it's rough for G2. It's very, very rough for G2, Tom. Very, very rough. Well, like, Asuka doesn't nosedive per se. It's more that she's on. She's only on the fringe of the meta. Like, she is on the fringe of it. Like, she's a really good character, don't get me wrong. It's just everyone gave her triple S ratings, and I'm like, and they give Quincy lower ratings. I'm just like, yes, Asuka is more versatile, but she, at the end of the day, she's gonna be leaving the meta sooner than Quincy, 100%. Unless for some reason they start pumping out meta water units. Like, they wanna like turn the faucet on for meta water units, and sure, go ahead. But like, Literally, Asuka is third best fire unit, okay? Like, literally, that's her current position. 
like because her niche was already c- competitive i didn't see why asuka was so highly rated like i i don't say asuka's bad much as she's overrated like i don't understand a lot of these reviewers who said who gave her such a high rating i'm like she's worse in the meta than a lot of units well, enough units to not give her triple S, I'll say that much. I mean, not worse than a lot. There's only like 10 units in her. Well, DPS wise, there are probably like 6 units in her. Um, and they're not many. Okay, Tachi Agare. I should have flex. I should be on the bottom. Oh, I'm sending. Oh, your privity wasn't helping enough? I'm surprised. Oh well, poor Priv. Surprised, but oh well, such is life. Can't say much for that, Priv. But like, yeah, Quincy like literally changes the water meta, which is probably one of the most impactful things. Like I was reading on, uh, DK to GG, SJ Kun put his estimates as second to third best DPS in the game. Like raw DPS. Yeah, you're just using raw CP, fair enough, fair enough. It matters a lot more early game. Like later on when the numbers are like, wow, I got plus 5k CP, except I'm, I, have, I have the requirement is 130 mil. I mean, not 130 mil, but um. It, 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 uh, let's see, one, one, uh, 100, uh, 1. 1.3, 1. 1.3 mil is like, wow, this is made about as much difference as a zero. Okay, cool. Like, there are, te- like, there are teams where I've set up to, so like, oh, uh, okay, this OG? I'm going to assume it's OG. Yeah, there are, like, times where I've set up five? Doom. Actually Doom. But yeah, like their teams were set up like a hundred k or not hundred k. It's like 60, 70, uh, 70 k down, and it would perform better. And like they're both like meta-ish teams. It's not like I'm kind of like completely off meta versus meta. But all mental damage means a lot more than anything. Okay, Rumani is finally revealed as everyone expected Rumani. Okay. I mean, you're not you're not end game though, Dart. You're pretty early game. Anything that's not hard campaign is not considered end game. <laughs> Like, they've toned down 21 a lot as well, on top of that.
But yeah, I'm sorry, Tom. Tom, you, 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 Europe is just gone, I guess. I mean, you know, you, you might pull the upset. I mean, BLG has not looked good this world. Like, BLG has looked awful this world. You know G2 could possibly win against BLG. Like, I don't... There, I definitely see a world where G2 win, okay? I, like, I don't want to count G2 even remotely out yet. Except for the hilarious uh, metric of... Um, did you see the hilarious Reddit post where someone was putting, posting the, the, um, the records of the supports? And G2 and uh, BLG are like are in the bottom four supports that are currently still inside the tournament. <laughs> it's <like> so depressing. <laughs> Mickey X and On have such awful tournaments. Like I feel so bad. Like both of them look so bad. Like numbers wise. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> here, look at, look at, look at this thing. Yeah, like people are wondering who's gonna be the worst support on the day. Because both both of them have had awful tournaments. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's an interesting look for how uh, tomorrow's game is gonna look. <laughs> interesting look. Yeah, I'm not sure why I who I want to see win between like between FlyQuest and TL. Like, I don't know who has higher highs and lower lows. Like, well, okay, I guess like FlyQuest. I feel is a traditional like European like team where they'll come interesting picks, and then once everyone figured it out, their interesting picks they just fall into the ground. Like. The way I see FlyQuest, the same way, like, how, like, you know T1 versus G2 during MSI? Where it was, like, G2 versus MSI, no, G2 versus MSI first round, right? G T1 wins 3-2. Second time they rematch, it was 3-zip. Like, I don't know if they're the better team, though. Like, TL has looked so shaky. Like they almost lost they almost lost again today. Like Well I guess not almost, but you know, they they lost game one pretty convincingly, right? And FlyQuest like took a game off HLE. Like I can't deny it. like FlyQuest is good sometimes. It's interesting. It's interesting. Cause I treat the way I think about Whippo is that um um, well, yeah, you can treat FlyQuest in general. They will try to always check you. With, or Whippo himself, personally, will always try to skirmish and check you to see if you're bluffing or not. This works sometimes, right? Against usually weaker top laners and whatnot. But, like, you know, some teams aren't ready for it. <laughs> and then, like, because, like, they're just checking you. Like, Whippo will check you. And, like... Zayas does the same thing, right? So, like, I don't think anything is wrong, per se. Like, he makes a lot of space for his team. But there are times where he's, like, literally just running it. Like, cause I, I, don't, I don't think he's, like, yeah. Like, I mean, okay, so what I said, I, I, I treat Purple the same way, like, if I see, like, Zayas feeding, right? When I see Zayas feed, like Zayas is just doing some, like some really weird stuff. But there are times where you see Zayas to create some weird highlight highlight plays. Hmm. 
What is this? This is the high score. Troy Yu Yu? Oh, he's not. I was Troy Yu Yu. Oh, he's not. I feel so smart. See, I don't. I don't dislike Popo too much, but or at least his playstyle, like, uh, like his attitude on some, some of these videos, I do very much question that, but... Wait, what was this again? I forgot. I forgot I'm blanking. This is nuts to tie line. Okay, yeah, I should have guessed it. <laughs> I mean, he, he was a good top laner in both EU and NA, but yeah, I agree. He'll probably lose, and he'll probably lose, like, you know, he'll probably lose against the actual, like, you know, Asian teams. But, like, it's not like Impact is better. Like, Impact has had a very questionable tournament, too, right? Like, Impact has literally through other rounds, and sometimes it felt like, felt like. I'm not 100% certain on that one. Didn't really watch in that detail, and obviously I'm not I'm not good enough to ever tell. I don't want to give that much fake analysis, but um, I don't I don't know who is actually better at the end of the day. They just have very different styles. But like. In fact, it's definitely less volatile, definitely. That, that, that's, that, that's a given, that's, that's true. Oh well, it's fine. I, I, like, the thing about it is that no matter who gets the semifinals, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let's go to be honest here. It doesn't matter who gets the semifinals. It's like, do do you see either of these any of the Western teams making it past quarterfinals? Unless there's two Western teams. There are two Western teams. You know, G2 somewhat beat BLG, and then maybe then. True, Tom, true, true, true. Wait, can, they can't even fight in round one, right? Because they can't even fight in round one, because round one is always guaranteed uh, all the two zeros will fight two twos, and then a two one team gets lucky gets to fight a two two. So, like, it's impossible for the two Western teams to fight each other in quarterfinals. They'll have to advance to semifinals. <laughs> They want to fight, fight each other, and then, you know, one of them will make it to finals. <laughs> it will be the most copium final ever. <laughs> Western final. I mean, the closest thing we'll probably get if you, like, uh, like the most realistic thing is the closest thing to a Western player to go reach the finals is Reckless go somehow, you know, actually substitutes in during finals, right? <laughs> It would be hilarious if he does. We, we see Reckless in the finals and we, um, we're good, right? If you want Western Hope, there's your Western Hope, right? I mean, he is an official sub and he's there. He's showing up in interviews, you know, to some degree. If, wait, didn't like, uh, wait, wasn't, uh, I, I guess if you also want to count other substitutes, uh, was it Shadow? was also a substitute for LNG? I think LNG. <laughs> so like, wait, you have, you have L, I think you have both LNG, let me double check this really fast. Uh, like, uh, Shadow, Lolpedia. Like I was pretty sure. Yeah, he's a Shadow is a substitute for uh, LNG. So if you don't know who the guy is, because I, I actually didn't even know this guy was at the tournament, but um, he he's also there. So you have two possible chances, Tom. You have two possible chances. <laughs> like this guy played in Europe for quite a while too. Like like this guy is not unknown to Europe. Except I don't think he 
Yo, he did fight now, you see. Yeah, he did fight now, you see. See, there, there's, there's Western talent. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there you have it. There you have it, Tom. There you have it. Western talent. Western talent. <laughs> I don't know how much cope I'm trying to give you right now, but... <laughs> It's Western talent. It's Western talent, okay? <laughs> okay, so with that said, with that said, we're going to be switching over to Mary Skelter now. So I'm going to be switching over. Uh, I'll be down. I'll have the stream down for like one, two minutes, uh, and then we'll start back up again. So yeah, so uh, be right back.